up, hello there, Rhino1125, and today I am doing a review on this Series 2 Hellboy uh, action figure. Uh, this is about 7 inches tall, um, about NECA height. Uh, really, actually, when I seen it on Amazon, I thought he was about, um, some reason, like 5 inch, some reason, I don't know. But, uh, anyway... I do have them out of the package because it's night time and I was eager to get them out so I'm not going to be doing the unboxing type thing which is okay because I can still show the package it's just cool to have the figure displayed in there so before I get to anything um, I'm just gonna get to the package as usual um, so I'm just gonna position this All right. <clears throat> so uh, the top just kind of you know I had to cut it off but it says hazard choking that's not important and then there was a nice display of the figure and all that he comes with um, the gun was actually the least displayed um, there's his symbol actually that's not his symbol but uh, I mean H B is I guess a symbol, but I'll show you a symbol. Um then right here series two Hellboy includes cat six pack of S Samar <laughs> Samaritan. Um it's a type of alcohol beer. Um but uh anyway. This is the clamshell package. Uh, and then right here See, there's a symbol. All right here, there's this, and then uh, Ron Perlman is this Hellboy right there. Uh, ages 15 and up, which is good because I'm 15. So uh, here's that again. Yeah, see, seven-inch action figure, and here's a reading. Um, you can pause and read right now. So here's the other figure, so you can get in the line. Um, Hellboy includes cat, and this is the one that I have, but if you notice, it shows for some reason he has that face, uh, which I'm glad he doesn't, but I do wish, kind of, just like a small little bit, that he came with that head, and you could switch around his head, because some pictures i take, that would be a perfect head to put on, but I guess that's just how they, and then see, he has a fist as well, so I don't know. Um, but, unless, maybe this is another one, I'll have to check on that. So, there's that, uh, Angel of Death, uh, boxed figure, deluxe, and then Princess Duwana, Duwala, something like that, includes book, map, um, cylinder, and crown piece, and then goblin, uh, that's what that includes, and then, uh, Wounded Hellboy, with his cloak, and the reason why I did not get this one is because, one, he's wounded, which is not mind me that much, but that arm doesn't bend because of the, this, uh, I'll probably get it sometime, but, you know, just for now, if I had one, I'd want one like that, where both arms can bend, you know, articulation, so, uh, yeah. Spent three minutes on the package, um, so once again, the only ones of these that I'm planning on getting is probably that one. So there was the package. Right. Now, oh, sorry, I hit the. Thing there, this needs to be focused. Alright, so here he is. Uh, his gun is in his holster. I'll take that out. But um, that right away tells you that it fits in there. Mine came out perfect. My Hellboy did. Um, depending on how lucky you get, here's my two. So let's get to the accessories first. Just trying to 
Alright, so let me get to the accessories. So first accessory we have is uh, a cat. Um, I do kind of wish maybe this had bending in the tail or something. It's just a normal cat though. You can probably get one just this same size, probably at Big R or something, and you can have them have a bunch of cats. So, but I'm just gonna keep this in my bag of seven-inch action figures stuff, like accessories, you know, because it comes with them, and uh, they made it correct size form. Uh, there's some detail on, I guess. Some fur looks like real fur. It looks pretty nice. And then here's his um, beer. Or his, what does that say? I think that says it to zoo, something like that. So there's those. Uh, these are the ones that he takes. I I believe I'm guessing here. Um, that he, I think he has them with him since this is from Hellboy 2. He just has them with him, because in the first Hellboy he does take a pack of beers, and this does come out, and he's able to hold it in his gun holding hand. put that in the right way. It stays in there pretty good. So, pretty a lot of detail on that. This is good to sit in the background of something. <clears throat> and then last but not least, uh, this does fit in his hand really well. There's his symbol right there. Looks really nice. This doesn't pull back. But then, cool thing about this is it does that. It doesn't actually load, but, you know, <clears throat> it doesn't. Um, and this thing does not spin. I try not to do that too much because it's a tiny little joint. I don't want to do it too much, but it's got some nice detail. Alright, so now to the figure. I'm um, sorry, it's a little blurry. I just had... So this figure does stand um, about seven feet tall. Well... <laughs> seven inches sorry not seven feet um, hope I don't do that uh, a lot when I say stuff like seven feet instead of seven inches so let's uh, get to the articulation uh, arm swivels all the way around swivels up here at the bicep bends at the elbow swivels at the wrist and goes side to side goes forward and back really nice articulation uh, his head moves side to side, looks up, he doesn't really look down, has an ab crunch, has some little bit of waist articulation. Well, no, sorry, he doesn't, uh, but uh, leg goes forward and back, in and out, soles up here at the thigh, and bends at the uh, knee, and goes up and down at the foot, and then kind of side to side, but not much. Other arm is the same, and it just swivels, and it does pop off um, as well. It's kind of hard to get on. One second. All right, so I got that on, uh, and then he's got some articulation in his tail. Um, it goes up like that, swivels up here. Not, it's really hard right there, like at this joint, and swivels up here. There is no wire in it. Um, I kind of wish there was, but you can position it pretty good. My favorite position would be probably that, but uh, depends. So the only difficulties that I've had with this is this leg popped off, um, like right here, uh, but I got it back on. So it isn't flimsy. I moved the leg forward to take a picture, and uh, it seems to stay on pretty well after that. Um, I actually thought it broke when it happened, but it didn't. Uh, but other than that, mine came perfect. The only other thing about it is the hand, I kind of worry about that, because when it just came off, I almost thought it broke, but it didn't. Um, but anyway, let's uh, get to detail. And like I said, some reviews I'll do it with this background. You know. So, the detail, uh, I think it looks like Ron Perlman, uh, yeah. plus he's wearing makeup and stuff, so it won't exactly... Then right here, you got some, um, like where it's cut, there's always like a gash right there, I noticed. There's his sideburns going to his ponytail. 
and then this little, uh, I can't remember what that facial hair is called. And then there's see his veins in his hand, and then his arm, ruffles in the pants and stuff. This looks really nice, it's rubber, that fits, the gun fits in there really nice. I'd be careful with it, though, because yeah, you never know um, what it could do. And then this hand looks really, really good. I've got all those symbols, stuff, and the fingers do not bend. Uh, kind of happy they don't, but uh, <clears throat> they're positioned for whatever reason they need to be. Um, I don't really know what they're supposed to be positioned to be holding, but it just looks kind of like his hand is just, like, normally just sitting there, like, calm. But I guess you can have him hold something. <clears throat> so, really nice figure. Uh, I'll show you how he holds his gun um, here in a minute. I've got to get the figures uh, to the... i got to get these the figures to uh, si size compare and uh, get the gun in his hand, I'll be back. Alright, uh, so I'm back and uh, just have him positioned right here with that on his tail. Um, I'll show you how to do that, it's just really easy. You'll figure it out if it's safe you got this figure. Um, not rocket science or anything. And this fits in his hand. It's really, uh, it's not hard to get in, hard to get out. It's like that, just perfect, like right in between. If you own action figures, you probably know what I'm talking about. Where it just kind of squeezes in there pretty tightly, I guess. So here he is next to the NECA 7 inch Predator. Keep in mind, Predators are almost 7 feet, Ron Perlman is not. Here he is next to the NECA uh, Terminator, which I did do a review on later or earlier today. And then here he is next to NECA Dutch. Uh, these are both Arnold. I wish they would have made them the same size, but they Dutch is a little bigger, just just like that, just a tiny bit. And then one more. Here he is next to the Terminator that I decided not to do a review on uh, because of reasons like uh, this hand, the finger broke off in the package like before I got it out. But um, yeah, so recommend this figure uh, depending on if you like Hellboy or not. Uh, if you do and you want to get it, uh, I found. This one on Amazon for, I think, um, it was like 38 something, so I think it was really 50, I mean, sorry, 40 something dollars. Um, the comic book Hellboys, uh, yeah, if you want one of those, you're really going to be getting them for a big price unless you go on eBay, which I don't go on eBay, so I don't know if they're cheap there either. But, Pretty uh, nice picture. If you want to see more pictures of it, uh, go on my Instagram, which is RhinoHorn25J. Uh, um, and one more thing, you know, when I thought I it had it in there, actually, before I did this last part of the video, I, w I didn't do anything for like 50 minutes. I can't swivel his wrist anymore. So, if you do get this, do not swivel the wrist that much. Because um, I swiveled it all the way around once, and it broke off. Actually, if you if you go back up the video and watch when that happened, you can tell it broke, because I couldn't. And I put it in, and it kind of squeezed in a little bit. And I noticed it broke, so I just glued it. And if you want to know what kind of uh, glue I use for my figures, it's this. So... Really, really nice glue that glues in like under uh, 10 seconds. Like rock hard under 10 seconds. I mean, don't touch it about that time, but I glued something and then it got stuck because I thought I wanted it off. So, um, just real quick, one more little detail. There's a symbol. 
Oh, on his belt, it's got some pouches. I forgot to do the belt detail. So, that was the last thing I had to show. So, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Uh, I probably won't have any reviews for a little while. Um, I don't have any more figures to review at the moment. And uh, school starts in not that long, so I'll only be able to do reviews on the weekends, which sucks. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye.